Part 3. The importance of a multidisciplinary approach. Awareness of pituitary tumours is low and access to medical experts and advocates who specialise in this area is limited. To help educate and generate awareness, an international panel of multidisciplinary experts recently convened to discuss key needs for managing pituitary tumours, focusing on Cushing's disease and acromegaly as they're challenging and may be difficult to treat. I'm going to talk really now about the multidisciplinary approach because we know this is very important when dealing with patients. Patients with pituitary tumours may benefit from visiting a wide variety of healthcare professionals, including those that treat the tumour directly and those that treat the clinical manifestations. Michael, as a neurosurgeon, how important do you feel that everybody works together to treat a patient? I think it is extremely important. The diagnosis is usually made by the endocrinologist and he leads the management of the patient, but most of the patients still require surgery and operation. And therefore we are involved as neurosurgeons. We play together, like in our orchestra, with the endocrinologists and imaging people and radiotherapists. That's a lovely analogy, an orchestra of people, sort of all working together. Would you agree with that? Completely. Actually, for uh, acromegaly, many times it's important to discuss together with the neurosurgeon and many times with the neuroradiologist what's the best approach for the patient, if it is medical therapy or if it's surgery. For Cushing's disease, most of the times it's straightforward because a surgical, a surgery is the first treatment. So, and after surgery, we need the neuropathologist for the, di for the final diagnosis. So, it's indeed important that different specialists get involved. What do you feel about your role in this multidisciplinary approach? For me, running an endocrine laboratory, it's extremely important to have the conferences with the clinicians, with the um, neurosurgeons to talk about individual cases because it allows me to get more information about the worth, the utility, the um, validity of the methods we are using in the laboratory. In many cases I think it would be very helpful if uh, more information from the laboratories about specific tests would be available or distributed uh, to the uh, general physicians um, because these tests are not just routine tests you can do. So the interpretation of the test results requires a lot of expertise. In order to improve the multidisciplinary approach, physicians should ensure there's consensus regarding a patient's individualised care plan and engage in communication with each other and the patient. How important do you feel is communication between everybody? When oh, it's absolutely important. I, I believe... As an endocrine nurse, um, I'm in a pivotal role because I can be the liaison between the patient and the healthcare team. So, um, and hopefully, I can help facilitate some of that communi communication. Stacy, you're a patient with Cushing's disease. Do you feel that you um, benefit from a multidisciplinary approach? Definitely. I um, I think that it's important to have follow up, not only with your surgeon with your neuroendocrinologist, but the reality is when you go back home and you deal with the disease every day, it's your general physician that you need to go to. So it's important that they have a relationship so they know the test to run throughout the year. In addition to managing the clinical manifestations of pituitary tumours, healthcare professionals should highlight the importance of emotional and mental care. Since pituitary tumours are rare, patients may feel isolated and have difficulty obtaining information about their condition. Joining a support group or speaking with a mental health professional can help patients and their families share their feelings and resources with other people who have similar experiences. I fully believe in the support groups. It's a good communication for the patients at least. And just a, it's just nice for them to know that they are not alone. I think it's also important that um, it's encouraged that your family members not only if you have a spouse, but your 
um, your children or a close friend um, is also aware of your disease and what that entails. I think any medical center across the world that has a pituitary center um, should consider having a monthly support group or quarterly support group uh, for, and reach out to those patients that they treat uh, to see if that will be of value to them. Uh, the use of a psychotherapist, psychologist are rarely indicated in youth. And I think it's a very valuable uh, component to a multidisciplinary team. Thank you very much. I think to summarise then, the goal of this multidisciplinary approach is ensuring communication, you know, collaboration and alignment of all the tests. And if, if that's done, that's what's going to help um, the patients with pituitary tumours, whether it's acromegaly or Cushing's disease.